tossed around a bit. Yeah. I was out this afternoon. It started out great today. It did. Thought, wow, this could be really nice. But Joe said when, Joe said when, and then you were right, unfortunately. Boy, it hit too. I mean, Hard. Like, like, like the noon hour was fine, yeah. right? Yeah. We had this overcast. Once we had the sky start Crazy. to clear, boom, winds gusting consistently up to yeah. around 40 miles an hour. Uh, let's look at it right now. The camera's kind of bouncing around. 57 degrees. We're up to 59. But these strong winds are going to be with us for the first part of the evening. In fact, uh, when that front that we were telling you about at the start of the newscast comes through, a band of wind and rain between like 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock, snow in the mountains, and then we'll clear from this. But there's another disturbance that's coming down the pike. Look at the moisture starting to organize throughout areas around the Hamas on into the San Juans. Well, look at this. When the front comes on through, hooking up with this disturbance to the west of us that will be passing on through tonight, that's where hit number one will be. And then there's another system lurking offshore that'll be impacting us tomorrow night on into Wednesday. And that will be greeted with some Arctic air, making for some snowy conditions in eastern parts of the state. So the concern tonight would be the higher terrain, especially above 8,000 feet, where it's going to be snow and blowing snow. And you can see that they're going to get like 8 to 11 inches above 8,000 feet around the mountains around Chama and snow and blowing snow and blizzard like conditions throughout the mountains outside of Durango. Not so much as you get out toward Cuba, maybe two to three inches, but you get the idea that's impacting us for tonight. There's that wave of moisture we were talking about, uh, showers and mountain snows to the south in the morning, but primarily throughout the higher terrain. Now, let's look at Tuesday when you see that Arctic front coming in, highs only in the 20s, Raton into Las Vegas. That other disturbance will spread some snows throughout eastern parts of the state, so that could make for some tough travel there. Then we get through all of this, and it finally starts to improve for the weekend. So you get the idea. Some showers around tonight with dropping temperatures as we get toward Wednesday and Thursday, but improving toward the weekend. Southwest, rain likely tonight. Snow at the higher terrain, but then as we get into uh, tomorrow, it's going to be drying out. Your best opportunity for moisture will be tonight with snow in the mountains. It's going to be a whole lot less active throughout the day on uh, Tuesday, and then Los Alamos, Santa Fe on into Taos. The rain and the mountain snow, brunt of that tonight, just scattered during the day for tomorrow, and then uh, Raton, you see it in the 40s, but as we told you, as you get toward Wednesday, you get that Arctic surge working in, and temperatures only in the 20s, along with some snow. So after overnight rain and wind, it looks as if it will be moderately windy tomorrow. Temperatures in the 50s, rain and snow showers ending, but rain mixing with snow, there could be a little bit of a mix of snow overnight. Most of that would be in the foothills or certainly in the nearby mountains, but you get the idea. We'll be drying through the day on Tuesday, and then more rain and snow showers to start the day for Wednesday, a better chance as we go on into eastern parts of the state. Chilly on Thursday, but look at that mild weather Friday on into the weekend. So we do have a payoff that awaits. As we look at traffic.